Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna showcase the new features on iOS 13 running on an iPhone XR. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, iPhone XR and iPhone 11 are virtually identical when it comes to software functionality, so all these features are available both on the XR and the 11, so let's dive in. Now, one of the biggest features to make it to iOS 13 is known as the dark mode. So basically, when you go into your settings, and if you go into your display, you now have the option to pick from a light mode or a dark mode, and that's the dark mode. It gives you a, it gives you a nice dark theme across the board on your iPhone, on most of the iPhone supported applications, and of course, it's going to be coming to regular apps as well. So that's the light mode, and just quickly, I'm going to show you one thing. If you go to your phone, that's the regular light mode. If you go to your messages, that's going to be the regular uh, light mode right over here. Uh, if you go into, for example, the calendar application, again, you get the uh, regular night mode. But when you go in here into the settings and switch over to the dark mode, what happens is when you go back into these applications, they're all going to be reflecting the actual dark mode uh, for all Apple installed applications which is actually great as you can see with the calendar as well and even if i was go to go into the news application again it's going to be uh the dark mode theme okay so that's absolutely fantastic so let's go back out here uh put this back to light mode for this video and then let's talk about all the other features now i did talk about the dark mode i do want to show you guys one more thing over here when you pull down the control center from the top right uh, when you press and hold on the actual um, brightness slider right over here, it does expand to give you more options. And you can actually change the uh, dark mode and the light mode right from here. So you can go to dark mode or light mode right from here. So right now I'm at dark mode right here. So if I go to my phone, for example, it's going to be dark mode. If I go to the settings, it's going to be dark mode. So I can toggle that right from here as well. All right. And they did make some changes to the home uh, toggle over here when I press and hold this. It expands and gives you this nice little window from where you can modify all the lights and then you can change the colors and then when you're done with this you can click on the X and that disappears for particular uh, rooms in your house if you do have the uh, home accessories enabled all right again you can just press and hold it's going to expand for you into this nice window from there you can change the colors as you please and you can exit out as you please as well that's one thing. Uh, the other thing here is when you click on the volume knob right over here, you get this little slider here that you can actually use to control the volume instead of pressing the buttons. And again, it goes down a little bit. You can expand it as you please, okay? You can expand it as you please, as you can see. Now, if you leave it for a couple seconds, boom, it disappears by itself. Now, one really cool feature that they brought to the table was if you go into your photos application and if you were to pull up any photo, all right, uh, when you tap on edit that photo, you get new ways to actually edit that stuff. So at the bottom, uh, you get these enhancements tools over here and you then you have a dialer that you can move back and forth uh, to change the settings on a particular photo. You can go through exposure, you can go through brilliance, you can go through highlights and you can also modify everything as you please with laser precision i do like the new interface here that looks great if you tap on this one uh, you can change the way the photo looks and all that good stuff as you can see okay so all these things are new in your uh, photos application they give you some enhanced editing tools now the good news is let me just cancel this discard changes uh, the good news is when you go into the actual video so let me just pull up a video right over here here's a video right over here uh, if I click edit on this video, I get the exact same tools I, I get for the photos to apply on the video as well. So from here, for example, I can change the uh, enhancement of the actual video. As you can see, I can make it brighter or darker as I please. I can change the exposure. I can change the highlights. Uh, I can change the shadows. I can change the contrast. All these things are switchable, so that's great. And you can even rotate the video if you so desire, okay? So if I come over here, 
uh, as you can see, I can apply these effects right over here to the actual video, as you can see, okay? And then with this one, I can rotate the entire video as I please. So you do get some great editing tools on both photos and videos, which is great. Okay, so if I click on done on this one, you'll see it's going to be saving the new video. It takes a couple seconds to get that done, even for uh, high quality videos. And then you can play the edited version of that video, as you can see. Okay, so you can create real nice effects using these tactics. Now let's move on to the next new feature. Now, another new feature actually applies to the Maps application. So if I go to my Maps right over here, uh, let's say that you uh, search for a certain city and state anywhere in the world. I just search for uh, Cupertino in California. And basically, if you look at the bottom over here, you'll see a little um, preview image, and it's going to say, look around. So this is the equivalent of the street view uh, on Google Maps. So if we tap on this one, you actually get a live, not a live, a real uh, image of the that area that you're actually looking at, okay? So it's just like the um, the street view on Google Maps. You can even tap on the screen. And it'll take you forward, as you can see, in real time. It's really nice and really intuitive. You just tap and go exactly where you want to go, okay? And again, you can look around uh, as you please all over the place, even, even on the street, in the sky, at the houses. So that's fantastic. Now this feature might not be available in every city and state uh, across the world, but they're working on making that happen for you guys, all right? So that's another feature, the look around feature in Maps. And I'll also let you know the Maps have been enhanced for iOS 13 with even more attention to detail to the actual Maps uh, interface, all right? So let's move on to the next stuff. And of course, one big feature that we have that's gonna be a brand new change a lot of people are going to welcome is we do have the new Apple CarPlay. When you connect your phone to your car, you get a nice and refreshed interface as you can see. We did have the old interface with apps right in front of you, but this new interface gives you the map right in front if you want, and a couple apps on the side, as well as a music player and all that good stuff. I think it looks really nice and refreshing. So that's the new Apple CarPlay. The next thing I'm gonna talk about has to do with Memoji. Now it's not something I use a lot, but I do know that a lot of people use these things. So when you go into your text messages, and if you go into uh, any into your uh, an emojis or Memojis, uh, when you create a new uh, Memoji from here, you are gonna be getting many more uh, hairstyles, headwears, and makeups uh, to modify uh, your Memoji as much as possible. So we do have some Memoji enhancements in iOS 13 as well. The next thing I wanna talk about has to do with the new Reminders application. So when we go to Reminders application right over here, it's now gonna have a brand new interface. Now, as you can see, it's all new. It's a completely rebuilt application. Uh, you have the option to quickly create new reminders, including the fact that Siri is gonna intelligently suggest creating reminders based on context, perhaps when you're talking to somebody in the messages uh, application. And of course, then you do have the easy organizing feature. So if I click on continue, you'll see that it looks a little bit different and you have the my list right here. You got today, you get all, you get scheduled reminders, you get flag reminders. So it's simply more intuitive and more better organized, okay? So that's a new reminders application. And of course, if you do go into the settings and if you go into the wallpapers right over here, uh, and if you tap on choose a new wallpaper and you tap on stills, you'll see that they did add four new wallpapers, as you can see, that are quite nice looking, all right? So these are all the different wallpapers uh, you can choose right from here, set both, and then Boom, let's go back out and right there, that's a new wallpaper. Now one quick thing I forgot to mention is if you go into the settings and if you go into the display, and if you go to where it says light and dark, you can actually choose automatic, okay? Now with automatic, what you can do is you can go into the options and from the options, you can pick a custom schedule uh, for the night mode to automatically come on at night time so it's easy on the eyes, so you can actually uh, do the light appearance from 7 a.m. Uh, and then dark appearance actually starts at 10 p.m. And then when it hits the 7 a.m. again, it's gonna go right back to light in the morning time 
or you can set it to automatic from sunset to sunrise. And as soon as I choose that, because right now it's 9.31 p.m., it goes to dark mode automatically. So you have that option to, to do the automatic night mode. Let's go back to light, go back out, and real quick, one more application that got to change was the Find My Mobile application. So when I launch it now, it's going to tell you right away, Find My Friends and Find My iPhone are now combined into a single application. You are able to get the location updates, and of course, you can even do offline finding, which improves the chances of finding your devices even when they're not connected to the internet using nice little tricks in the background, okay? So you can check that one out and make sure you configure this uh, properly as well. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.